Captain Ballon? The guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. I've got to get going. Thanks for the information. One moment. If you find yourself heading back toward the Sacred Land, there's something you could do for me. I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. If you could look for them, I'd appreciate it. Their last known location was near an abandoned Nora village, due east of here. I'll keep an eye out for them, if I'm over that way. The Nora's sacred land... <sighs> One of the Karja soldiers fell here. The other soldiers must have retreated. But to where? Can't be the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here, then ran off. Blood everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Son, I'm never really done. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feasts. I went to the beer fount too many times to count. I fingered every curl, but I never won the girl. But I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Well, I apologize for my, um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Daytower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Anora. Like some prisoner. <sighs> Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look. I got in a tussle with a snap mob. 
It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. That explains the bow I found on its carcass. You defeated it? Alone? <sighs> Imagine that. Do you want the bow or not? Thank you. I, uh... I didn't want to die in foreign lands. Like my men. made the sun light their passing. I did tell you we'd meet again. Nil. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. Don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. Still sniffing around. the alarm. Better keep an eye on it. Still looking. Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? Hmm. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I'll bet you're a machine hunter too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. 
Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe. But it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. The Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Only members and invited guests are allowed in. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three, and I'll let you in. Now off you go. By the sun, are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before, or at the Hunter's Lodge. How interesting. What do you do here? This is a place to test yourself against a herd of machines in the stamina trials. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. Well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. Terribly lonely, in fact. What about your friend over there? Oh, he doesn't count. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, nothing interesting comes out. Which one will you try? I'll explain whichever you pick. The remains of Watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. Good. Now slide down a rope to get started. Go, go, go!
Clearly, this was too easy for you. You got this full sun on your first run. Go a little faster and you'll get a blazing sun. In this trial, you must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. Are you ready? Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope. Congratulations! You can do no better. This blazing sun is yours. Now's your chance to show you can snare glint hawks. Lure them close to you, then tie them down in time to pass this test. Good. Now slide down a rope to get started. Go, go, go!
getting good. Here's your full sun. You have three half suns. You can go to the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian now. Or you could keep me company. Your choice. I have to get going. You know where to find me. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the Lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The Sacred Land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. You're Talana? Assis said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. When I gave him my trophies, Assis said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. 
That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Redmar right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Elsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glint Hawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. About time you Spied. showed up! More Glen Hawks incoming! That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. It seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. More Glen talks. Talks were drawn here. <sighs> Whoever did this must have left tracks from the blinds. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. Lines up there concentrate fire on a target. Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat and a wasteful one, too. <laughs> the 
These must be the snap. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a Glintock problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snap Maw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? No one wins if we fight. Surely we can reach a compromise somewhere short of death? We've been harvesting Snap Maw hearts for days. I only need one more, and then I can settle my debt and save our home. If I get the last heart, do you promise to stay away? It's a good deal. Ibasha took a hard hit with that last one. Okay, fine. We need the shards. I'll do this for you once, and once only. Stay here till I get back. Got it. Now to bring us back to those hunters. There. The heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Aloy. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait. Are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of Venora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life, but I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it will bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. This. This is a good day. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there.
Where's Talana? Maybe upstairs. Why you try to kill us something? You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. How much did a cease pay you? That sounds like her. This must be the outlanders that followed Talana. Looks like a cease hired some friends. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone and fine. Even though he knew we needed to escape the seas. I'm not sure where Assis and Redma went from here. I can follow their tracks. This way. Redma destroyed these trees. I fear we're too late. The Tarkas, I arrived in time to see him die from the wounds. There he is. Redma. Is was was holding his arm. Well, we have our work cut out for us.
nearly down! We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. <laughs> Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive. In dark times. No. You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmaw first. To soften him up. Damn. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <sighs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. First brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. I have nothing to trade. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. May you always take your prey. the sun. King Avad's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. 